photos of their heartbreaking experience. Many said they felt helped and healed by what the couple did. So I don't know if all of that prompted all of this. A very big article that was posted overnight and is in the print edition of the New York Times as well from Meghan Markle. Here we see happy times with Harry and Meghan and oh, baby Archie. And as we learn from this very heartfelt article, Archie was going to have a sibling. A new baby was on the way until, as Meghan details here, she miscarried. This is the article bylined by Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, and she writes of the losses we share and of her specific loss. She says she was essentially playing with Archie when she felt a sharp cramp. I dropped to the floor with him in my arms, humming a lullaby to keep us both calm, the cheerful tune a stark contrast to my sense that something was not right. I knew as I clutched my firstborn child that I was losing my second. Megan details her initial fear of being unable to heal herself and her family. And then she talks about the first steps to that healing, including the simple question that she writes that she says we all need to pose to one another, not just after a miscarriage, but after any difficult period. She writes, so this Thanksgiving, as we plan for a holiday unlike any before, many of us separated from our loved ones, alone, sick, scared, divided, and perhaps struggling to find something, anything to be grateful for, let us commit to asking others, are you okay? Obviously, we can't share the entire article at length here, but the global reaction, the idea of Megan openly talking about something that for a long time has gone undiscussed, has generated a lot of reaction, including this from the Times, a writer, Brava Megan, as an OBGYN who helps shepherd patients through the initial.